everyone, welcome back. If you're new, we're Nick and Sarah and this summer we travelled to Germany to collect a camper van with the hope of importing it into Spain. Unfortunately, we recently found out that to do this, we have to remove everything from the build, like everything. We basically have to destroy a perfectly good van. Hey guys, welcome back to the Unbuild. We're on day four or day five of the destruction of the van. In the last week's vlog, we took out the kitchen area, which is kind of like half the van. We thought that was gonna be the hardest part. We were wrong, <laughs> aren't we always? <laughs> oh, we always. So as you can see, we have made progress. We've um, managed to take the lounge out, the bedroom area. That actually took longer than we thought. That mm. We thought that was gonna be Surprisingly. Now this is a bit awkward, isn't it? <laughs> oh, this, this is a bit bloody awkward because it's going to snap if we don't. Oh my goodness gracious me, my love. Oh, look. Oh, it's going to come that out. It's all and actually moving. That's all coming out in a wanna. bits of framing so that is now everything out except for the base that we're gonna have to come back with more tools and the bathroom everything else is out of the van oh apart from the flooring the the ceiling the lights the, 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 the this thing the uh, max fan the solar panels on the roof and apart from all that apart from all that we're done and the wiring oh the wiring all the wiring's still in not sure what we're going to do. You got your labels for those bits of metal down, aluminium, aluminium. Do you know what? We started off by um, pretty much like labeling everything and putting all the screws in little bags and labeling it, but then we, we have just given up on that a little bit. We definitely will be making changes when we rebuild the van 100%. Um, the, the van is a really good, solid build. Um, like we said, Frank and Emily have done a great job, but. As we've taken it all apart, we definitely- They did a great job. They did do a great, did, yeah. But as we've taken it all apart, we've definitely noticed a lot of things that we can improve and um, also like lighten down the load as well, a lot. And obviously some things have been a little bit spoiled in taking them out, unfortunately. So there will be changes. I'm thinking toilet, why not? Just cut a hole in the floor. So you go mm -hmm. through it and it just drops down underneath. <laughs> joking, joking. <laughs> Supermarket car parks. <laughs> I will be too bad in the wild, but yeah, he's joking. Just a little exactly. poo bag and pick it up afterwards. <laughs> yeah. Or a big poo bag some mornings. No, sorry, disgusting. And we have just done the huge mammoth task of removing the frame, the base of the loo. And that was just an absolute nightmare. We didn't even bother filming because we were just not, there was not much going on. It just took a lot of swearing and a lot of... Um... The axe had to come out, didn't it? Yeah. At least I got to use my axe. But we've got it out. <laughs> we've got the big base out. And now today, the last thing, well, not the last thing, there's still quite a few other things, but today the, the, um, the bathroom is the, the task which we're really dreading. We spent a couple of weeks in Germany doing up the bathroom. Sarah did a fantastic job with the lino and the silicon made it perfect. She was very keen to get that bathroom done as soon as possible. Yeah. Might be regretting that now. Yeah. No point in getting all sentimental about it. <laughs> Let's just get it down. Good ceiling that was, darling. I was proud of you for doing that for yeah. us. Proud of ourselves. Yeah. Well, it'll be reused. It's satisfying, isn't it, that? So the door is off. Oh, Finally. Gosh. 
I caused a little rip in the lino but just a little one and it's round the edge it doesn't matter I, I thought I was just gonna rip the whole lot to be honest I'm so relieved that th th this came off because I think the rest will come off fairly easy without ruining it you know <laughs> I honestly, we honestly took so long to get this lino all nice and perfect. We did it in a way that we could get the backboards off where the shower is so we could get to the pipes underneath, but we didn't really do it as in that we'd have to get this off again. Tell you darling, if we don't use this in the van rebuild, then we're using it in the house. We're having a second bathroom upstairs in the house. Or buying some land to just put it on. <laughs> Not the door, the rest of the bathroom as well. Oh God. I, I, yeah. Anyway, now this is a case of we have to take all of these plastic strips off with this. But then we've got the shower tray. We've got no clue what's under the shower tray, how it's held down, how that's going to go. That's actually glued. What? Oh, because it's this one that's coming off easily because that's how you get to the pipes this one wasn't really supposed to come off but obviously that's supposed not. to stay on in it it just comes off with that on it i know but how would you get it where's the screws i don't even remember mm, no, I don't. Uh... still can't believe that only a few days ago this van was almost complete 85% complete. What have we done, darling? What have we done? I actually hate it. Hating this whole process now. I really am. Um... You know, I said that this is the easy part. I know you jinxed it, darling. You jinxed it. You should have kept me gobshit. There's no easy part. See, that's silicon. That's siliconed. So easy to come off. But I've got a feeling that this one's glued because. It made this one easy to get off because this is the one you need to get off to get to the pipes. Yeah. I didn't expect that we'd have to rip the whole bathroom down. None Hence... of us did, no one did. Ah! Such a nice bathroom that was, darling. Wasn't it? Don't keep reminding me. <laughs> you gotta laugh, otherwise you cry, don't you? If this fails and the lino all rips or whatever, we're going back to old school. We're having a hula hoop. We're having All a shower them. curtain and we're having a bucket, just like little old Vinster. We're quite happy with basics. We've got much more room than little old Vinster. The van is much better. As long as we've got somewhere to sleep, wash, cook. What else should you do in life? Work very, very hard. <laughs> Edit. <laughs> I'm sure it'll all turn out all right in the end. I'm sure of it. Oh, this is just heartbreaking. The whole van has been just so heartbreaking, but this has to be the worst bit of all. That's why we left it till last. We've taken like literally everything out except for this cubicle now. <sighs> if we'd known this in the first place, that we'd have to travel up to Berlin, pick up the van, drive down here, take everything out. As much as it's lovely to meet Frank and Emily, it is, um, is yeah it's it's harder than a van build a in a way it's a waste as well yeah it's just heartbreaking to destroy a van and then have to put it back together this wasn't the plan this wasn't how it was supposed to go down you know we thought we we're going to be able to import it in pay a bit extra and not have to rip everything out oh let's let's not let's not dwell on these negatives eh what's that catching on i don't know there's definitely only one screw in it Oh no, there's not. There's another oh. screw. There's another screw. Quick, pass me. Well, it didn't get ruined. How did I put that on? Did I glue that on? You know, that piece of wood to stop the pipes popping back through. Yeah. Did I glue that on? Why is it? Yes. She's about to swear then. Sarah does swear when she's really angry. It's taking a lot longer than we thought this is. But we did spend most of the day today getting that big uh, solid board up, 
taking up where the battery rack was and yeah just little things that like we said they weren't really even worth filming they were just really frustrating small things is any of this worth filming i don't know but anyways um you need to take the doggies back don't they they've just been very good sat in the front yeah we have a break but we are coming back in like half an hour or so aren't we mm. we've got to get this out today that was like the job for today We're back, we we're refreshed and check this out. Sliding door. Is that coming out? Yeah. That is a whole different story. All of the little pluses, isn't ya? All of the little moments where you get something out without breaking it is a good moment. Look at that. So they miss it, is it there? Yes. It was a lot easier than thought and a lot lighter than we thought. So you gotta take the positives, don't you? Ah and relax. Or not. Not relax. No relaxing, <laughs> that's for sure. What a crazy week. But look, look at the van. It's empty. It's a mess at the moment. We've still got to tidy up. And we have actually still got some more stuff to show you guys mm. from what we've just shown you, if that makes sense. Because obviously we got all the furniture out, we got the bathroom out. Oh, what a task that was. Um, but we've still got to show you the whole process of getting that grey water tank off. Mm solar panels ceiling ceiling was actually really easy the ceiling was really easy we'll show you all that in a minute but look at the space that we have now and believe it or not we are getting a little bit excited even though it's been a hard horrible emotional exhausting week <laughs> we are getting excited um seeing the van empty and yeah all that it feels space like to play with. it feels like a, a, a blank canvas mm. and that is actually quite exciting for some strange reason don't the doggies look small in there now oh look at that here we go wow. our blank canvas our huge space to make the ultimate home on wheels once we get it legal once we get those plates on then we can start getting excited about how we're gonna put this van back together. I think we're 95% sure we're gonna keep that layout as in kitchen at the back, lounge, bed at the front there. We've said it before, this layout worked really well for us and more importantly, the dogs, the fact that we can use both doors. Boys, don't even think about running away. But after like unpacking everything and emptying the van and doing what we've done this week, we have seen a lot of things that we want to change about the van. And the main thing is, is the weight of the van, how much it weighed. We shared in last week's vlog, I think that it was 3000 kilograms with uh, the furniture, how the build was, but that was with no fluids on board. We weren't in the van, you know, we had no diesel in the tank. Um, there was no, nothing in it. All of our stuff was completely emptied out and it was still 3000 kilograms. And we feel like that's quite high. We go away for like six months or a year or whatever in the van. We need quite a lot of stuff or we're gonna wanna take quite a lot of stuff with us. We like going sup boarding. We like to take our folding bikes, uh, for example. Plus obviously you need more when you're away for a longer period of time. So we have decided that we are going to make the build a lot lighter if we can and we know we can because there was a lot of extra wood and pieces of furniture that are, are too bulky in our opinion so as we've had to take everything out we're going to lighten the load a lot and one of the main things we're going to lighten the load on one of, one of the biggest things straight away easy peasy is the batteries so yeah the four batteries weighed 124 kilos so to get the weight down on this it's going to be easy for us and we're hoping to have triple the power for a third of the weight now you're probably wondering what is this magic what is this sorcery or we'll let you into a little secret eco flow this is how we are going to keep the weight right down for our power setup and have ultimately more power plus these things are just so convenient they've got all of the inverters and everything built in it's just so super duper easy now i want to bring my air fryer it's still up for discussion because nick thinks 
it's a bit extravagant. Yes, we're currently negotiating. If Sarah's going to take her air fryer, then I'm taking the coffee machine. Oh, no, 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 no. The coffee machine is coming. 100% <laughs> we are having a coffee machine in this van build. So this is the EcoFlow Delta Max 2, and it is about, it weighs about 20 kilos, but it's twice as, hold on, it's twice as powerful as one of those 30 kilo batteries that we had here. Um, so yeah, I mean, it's just an absolute game changer. These power stations, we've said it before, we'll say it again, they are just game changers. You've got all you need for a van build here. You've got your four AC plug sockets, you've got a 12 volt socket, two connections so you can connect lights up to it, four USB, two fast charging, two normal and two USB-C. And we don't have to worry about all of the stress of getting it right and using inverters and everything else. We've got them here. Look, the dogs are very interested in this. Um... <laughs> they just like to come in front and be right in, <laughs> right in the front row. <laughs> Look, he's like listening to what I'm saying. This is the smaller one, which is the Delta Two. They also have a smaller one again. We will leave the link in the description so you can check out the website and check out the deals that they've got on for Black Friday. Thank you, EcoFlow, for sponsoring our video today. And thank you for powering our van. I can't believe you didn't mention the app. Oh, the app! You can actually have the power stations hidden away and just turn them on with the app and check the out all the stuff. It's really, brilliant. really good. Yeah. Right, that's it. Dizzy's officially fallen asleep. He's bored. Time to get on with this. You premium. didn't last that long, did you? <laughs> <laughs> I've been wanting to do this the whole time that we were in Germany, all the way home, everything. I've wanted to get my vacuum in here and just go for it. And now the van's completely empty. It's even more satisfying because I can get in all of the little nooks and crannies. Because there isn't any nooks and crannies because the van's empty. There's a hole there. Get it, darling, get it. So that's the van all hoovered, swept, nice and neat. I'm sure he's gonna sail through, no issues with the import. No problem at all. We can leave the floor and we can leave most of the things. I was in. just gonna say, I've just spent the time vacuuming the floor and clearing up, but we don't even know if we can leave this floor in yet. You don't know. We just don't know yet. Anyway, um, back to yesterday, we, uh, we managed to take the other things, like the outside things, mm. off. Yeah, it all came off quite well, surprisingly. Yeah, so first off we did the, <laughs> the grey water tank, which was easier than we thought. We had to take the shower up, the shower tray came up very easily indeed. And then underneath we're obviously left with the pipes. So it was just a case of figuring out um, which pipes went where. Mm and following them to the grey water tank underneath and disconnecting all that and a bit of wiggling, a bit of... Uh... Two brackets, two simple brackets holding the tank on and then yeah, yeah just disconnecting tubes and that was it really. That a bit of it. smelly water spilling out. Yeah, but, but apart from that, it, mm. was, it was a fairly easy, easy job. And um, yeah, and now the solar panels. Yeah, that was easy, ish ish yeah we just had to peel back the the insulation on the roof to find out where the bolts were hidden there and took a little bit of time because obviously it was bolted on um what, two four six eight bolts per solar panel times two solar panels so it was a case of one of us on the roof one of us in the van and we had to also pick all of the silicon um loads of silicon to pick that off so we could get the allen key in and then sarah was unscrewing from the bottom so teamwork made the dream work teamwork in a little bit of time but we got those off and then we had to kind of scrape the um brackets were also stuck down with like Cilla a silica type, type, type step it was fairly straightforward so we we're really happy that that was fairly easy um yesterday <laughs> yeah, we also took the ceiling down that was probably one of the easiest jobs the ceiling down and then we took the framework off from the max fan and the skylight and um, we're kind of going to leave those in for now we might just have a look to see how easy they are going to be 
to remove and leave them into the last minute just in case it rains you know it could rain in spain yeah. in november we've had very very good weather and it's predicted to be dry and good weather for all of this week as mm. well but yeah it's it's not worth taking them out until right at the last minute well so what's been the favorite part of the van and build would you say the easiest part the easiest part was probably um, that vacuuming that I just did in that time. <laughs> <laughs> I think we've done quite well in less than a week. It's all completely. It's all done. And yeah. done all this work. So what's happening now then, love? So now, as always, we're waiting for a phone call, aren't we? We've been in communications with the the, the company up the coast, but we're just waiting because we're really, really, really hoping we can leave this floor in. See, it's kind of like the original floor, if you like, but it was taken up and then obviously the battens put down and then the insulation and then the floor put back on top. And the floor is screwed to the battens. But where are those screws? <gasps> Nobody knows. We don't know where the screws are. Somewhere under the tiles. Because obviously the <laughs> sticky tiles were put on after all of that. So to take the floor up, we'd have to take all of these tiles up, which is not an easy task because their adhesive tiles are stuck down. And there's a lot of them. And then we'd have to find the screws, lift the floor, and then the battens will probably yes they will oh, the be glued down, won't they? it's a big hassle to take yeah. the floor up we really don't know we're waiting for the phone call we've sent pictures of it it doesn't it's not looking overly promising to be honest with you underneath this white paneling is obviously again insulation mm. we don't know if we've got to take that down and then the, remove all the insulation the same as the insulation on the roof we the guy know. said basically a van when it's made in the factory it comes out as a steel can so basically yeah, all this paneling and the floor that's all added afterwards mm. certain things make sense and certain things are stupid so i hope they're gonna just you know be a little bit lenient it's not not a major law break is it really it's just you know mm. so here at the back of the van you can actually see how much the floor is raised up it's that wood there so you know it's like this much from the original metal floor of the van i personally think that we're gonna have to take the floor up but you know let's wait and see the tow bar is going to have to come off probably because the tow bar was probably fitted after the van came out of the factory i don't think it's factory on we also can't find the the plaque that says exactly what tow bar it is there's no plaque on there and as far as we know if there's no plaque on there it will definitely have to come off either way but then nick and i were talking this weighs about 45 or 50 kilos and we're not going to use it because we're going to be using the back door to come in and out of the van so what's the point of having 45 50 kilos on the back here if we're not going to use it that's like two of those power stations for example how are we going to tow our boats i don't know how we're going to tow the boat yet <laughs> but maybe we could just stick the boat on the roof on a total positive note and this is actually really cool our leaf springs when we got the van from germany fully loaded they were flat as a pancake they were touching the other part of the leaf spring underneath they were so flat they were almost going the opposite way now the van's empty they're smiling again and quite a lot they've really sprung back into shape so that's really positive because we were actually thinking the van was going to fail on that as well like at the at the inspection at like the um mechanical inspection but now they're like this i mean we will probably change them they do need changing before we load it all back up again maybe get some that's uh, extra powerful i don't know but they've got a smile again so that's really good look at that clearance look at that good evening guys and we're back at the van and um, we, we love it here <laughs> To be honest, we're getting a bit over, over this van unbuild. It's not as much fun. I, I think in the build will be a lot more fun and satisfying. It's not very rewarding whatsoever. We no. feel, feel terrible doing this. We have just taken all of the wires out, the cables. Uh, didn't film it, just swore a lot. And and Nick is also cutting the floor oh, down here. Oh, this is here. a nightmare. Nightmare, because we need to put the bulkhead back in. We're we still haven't heard back. We're hoping the floor is going to be allowed to stay in. I've got to the tie. I've got to tidy up the hole where the hole where the grey water goes out. You're right. I'm going to cut away. You get a bit shaky. Do you want to go walkies? Come on. Then. You go walkies. Come on. Cut. 
So I was just taking Charlie for a walk um, and yeah so we've got to tidy up that hole kind of hide the hole where the grey water goes out make the van and the floor look as neat as possible the worst part is cutting this channel so we can get the bulkhead back in need to get some sort of electric saw or the angle grinder with a sharp blade on takes hands off that does I'm scared of it a bit we did do our house and cut tiles with it and use it lots but I'm used it for a while but anyway probably gonna have to get that out to cut this little channel out down here so we can just slide the bulkhead in then that's the bulkhead in the floor will be looking neat all the electrics out and um, and we'll just see how we go here he is it's all right he's got a bad belly again a little bit of a bad belly but it seems okay now hey little one we go back and see Dizzy in a minute. Do you want to go in the van, Charlie? It's getting cold as well, isn't it? It's getting chilly. We have such lovely weather all November and now it's getting chilly. Um, <clears throat> so yes, another, tomorrow is another day. A brighter day, a happier day. And um, <clears throat> this will get sorted. It's all going to work out good in the end. Um, we may be away somewhere getting this thing legal next week and we're going back to basic you know like hammocks hanging from the ceilings and a little gas cooker type away because obviously that's all we can do because the van's empty and we've still got a sort of you know live in it while we go and get it legal if that makes sense so that'd be exciting do you want to come in and say goodbye bye guys <laughs> see you next week <laughs> thanks so much for watching no. Follow us for daily updates on our other socials. Please subscribe to this channel if you can. Free, free and easy. Totally easy to do. And we'll see you somewhere, somehow, next week. Yeah, take care, guys. We will be on the road next week, one way or the other. We may be pulled over by the, by the police. Who Don't knows? say that. Just <laughs> saying, just saying. <laughs> Why? We're legal at the moment. Yeah. We're totally ish, fine at the moment. Ish. Who knows? There's grey areas. Nobody Not knows. Not just on this head. There's grey areas all surrounding this whole blooming thing. Anyway, it's guys. It's all going to work out. It's all going to work out. Thanks, guys. And we'll see you next Thursday. You could do with a magnet there, couldn't you, really? So who guessed it right? 107 screws in the base of the toilet. And um, just collecting them all up now in my sock or in Nick's sock. My pet hate with Nick is that he quite often leaves socks lying around. I blame Dizzy. He's taken them off and he's just left them lying around. Now, Dizzy, Dizzy runs off with them. I don't mind socks being left around if they're in a pair, but they're never in a pair. But today it's coming quite handy because we've run out of Sealy bags, so I'm using a sock to collect all of my 107 screws. How are you going to put a label on that sock? <laughs>